Hi everybody, welcome to Easy Tutorials. In this video lecture series, we are going to see the introduction for preprocessor commands and we will be seeing an example, working uh, example for file inclusions. So first, what is preprocessor commands? So preprocessor commands means programmer supplied commands are called preprocessor commands. We will be supplying, here we will be having a translator. This translator will be converting the C statements into machine codes. So this machine codes will be placed, uh, placed in the object module and it will be executed. So all preprocessor commands will be starting with hash. So preprocessor uh, commands by knowing or unknowingly you will be using this preprocessor command that, is, that to this hash symbol. Because all the C programs initially will be starting with hash include stdio.h. So what do you mean by hash? Hash means to include the preprocessor directives we will be using this hash. So Preprocessor commands are divided into three categories, file inclusion, macro definition and conditional compilation. Now we are going to see in this lecture series only the file inclusion. So file inclusion means inside a C program, uh, you, are, you, are, you will be working uh, by uh, including the existing header, header files, stdio.h, conio.h, standard library.h, math.h, string.h like that. Already predefined header files are the available in C. So with the help of hash, you will be including that. So file inclusion means not only the existing header files you can include, you can create your own header file and you can include it. So how to create your own header file and how to include it. So like normal uh, C programming, you have to open a text editor and you have to save your program at with the extension .h. So, in your C program, while you are including a system defined header file, that is already existing header file means you have to use hash include angular bracket. Inside that you have to give your file name .h. Whereas, if you are created your own header file means you have to give hash include double quotes. Inside double quotes you have to give your file name. So, if you are seeing a ex uh, working example, it will be more clear for you. So, uh, here is one uh, folder. In this folder, I have created fact.h. So, the extension for this file I have given as .h. Now, inside this file, I, am, I have typed few statements. I have written one function. So, hash include stdio.h. So, for writing this function, I have included the uh, existing header file. So, the function name is factorial. So, int factorial. Factorial like that scan of print of our existing function which is available in stdio.h. Now I have created a file name dot fact dot h. So in this I am creating my own function named factorial. So inside this I am passing one integer variable. So the function for factorial int f is equal to 1 I am having for loop control I am having y. For i is equal to 1 to i less than or equal to the number which I passed into the function that is a i plus plus I am performing f is equal to f into i. So iteratively if I am doing this, uh, if I am passing phi, the phi factorial will be calculated. So at the end I am returning it. So I have just defined a function in this header file. So in the same folder I am creating one c file. So the c files extension is file include dot c. So if I am opening this c file, inside this I am including hash include stdio.h so this is a user uh, predefined header file so i am putting that in angular bracket now i want to i am having a header file which i created so the name of that is fact.h so this fact.h i want to include this inside this c file so i am putting hash include in double quotes i am putting fact.h why i am using double quotes because fact.h is the header file which is created by me, by a user. So I am putting dot uh, in double quotes. So I am uh, creating a void main program. Inside that I am creating in num fact. So num is the input variable for getting the input. Factorial will be, fact will be storing the output. So I am scanning the number percentage d ambassador num from the user. So now again and again I need not write factorial coding. Already I have written it in fact.h I have included fact.h so the name of the function is factorial so fact is equal to I am calling the function 
factorial or by passing the num. So now I am printing print of the factorial of percentage d is percentage d num comma factor. So I am not at all writing any code for finding the factorial. The code for finding the factorial is here in the fact.h file header file. So I have included that file. So if now if I am running this program what will happen we will see. cc file inclusion dot c. So I am just getting warning dot slash a dot out. So I am entering a number 4 factorial of 4 is 24. I got my output. So what actually is happening is here I have given hash include fact dot h. The code for finding the factorial is available in the file fact.h. So in fact.h here the code is available. So from this file inclusion when I am making factorial of num a call will be made to the factorial function which is available in fact.h. So from here the call will be going. Here the factorial will be calculated and written f. So f will be written here the value of the factorial so you can print and see. So using file inclusion we can include our own header files. So where here uh, this type of scenarios will be uh, useful is you are doing a very big project means you can have a header file and you can write the function uh, returning the value. If you are just calling the function you can get the output from any C file. So this uh, will be very useful for you. Uh, the other types of preprocessor directives are macros and uh, conditional compilation which we will be seeing in the next video lecture. Stay tuned to easy tutorials. Thank you.